I am back with Saturn in the fifth house. Mm. Saturn in the fifth house is really no fun. Yeah. Because it can get in the way of a person choosing to have fun or becoming irresponsible. And there's lots of times to where the person just went to have fun and ended up in a situation, like a serious situation or a responsible situation. This can be uh, where a person doesn't really have lots of chances to date. They could just end up getting into a serious situation. So, or they run their dates off because they look for serious, something serious off top. Like, just going out having fun with them could mean them looking at you for a potential partner in the future. Okay, so Saturn in the fifth house people take their dating, relationships, and fun very serious. It could be hard for them to really let go and let loose and enjoy their creativities and have other people show other people their creative side and putting themselves out there for people to be able to engage with them on a personal level beyond this demeanor that they give off. Now, this is the thing. Because there's always a thing. Saturn, because people with this, this placement could want to have fun. And want to date around a little bit before they get serious. But the people that they keep running into or being involved with are the ones that's looking for something so serious. They want to go and they want to do the creative work. But maybe their parents told them when they were younger, okay, that drawing hogwash, that's not going to get you anywhere. Because you need to be able to focus on your books and things. So no, 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 you won't be going skating on Saturday nights. To be with your friends. What I'm saying is yes. This could have been. This type of heavy responsibility and seriousness. Could have been instilled within this person. Earlier on. And they can't help. But. To demonstrate that behavior. Now. As an adult. So. You know. When dealing with Saturn placements. Is easy for us to get stuck on one one side of what that placement looks like and how it plays out but it's always more than one side now the restrictions that's placed upon the person it's 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 more about the person maybe being in the moment of something and wanting to enjoy that but finding it hard to let their guard down or let loose so it's that's how the Saturn aspect or Saturn placements become restrictions or feel limited. They feel limited because the person is not allowed to really um, or f are not allowed to fully let the energy play out. Not allowed to fully engage in what that is because oftentimes they stop themselves from doing so. There is this thing with Saturn in the fifth house to where they fear... Letting go into this fun, lightheartedness, creative, playful manner. They could fear that people won't take them serious. They could fear that they don't really know what they look like publicly. Okay, they don't want to be humiliated publicly. They don't want to be made fun of publicly. So even the interactions they have with people, their, even their kids in public could be very limited, very restricted. They may not do all that public affection stuff. Uh, it, this does depend on what other placements that their this person has going on in their birth chart, but they, it's it's a secret, a secret aspect to this placement to where the person just wants to hold all of this energy in. They don't want to share with the other people um, a lot of their ideas or creative ideas or um how they let loose they don't trust other people with their kids okay 
and they hold a lot of stuff close to their heart. It's hard for them to let go. Like a person has to really work at moving beyond their guards that they have put up. And they could find that they may have to do this with other people as well. Okay. Now, Saturn in the fifth house can restrict pregnancy. And this person can have kids rather late. You know, if they're not able to have kids, because I can't never say what someone's not able to do. It, this doesn't say that you can't ever have kids. You get what I'm saying? But let's say that there's um, a problem with natural birth. There may have to be situations where this person goes through other methods of gaining pregnancy or having a baby. You know, especially these days you can do that. So, th there's that. And then there could be difficult births. Like this person can go through difficult births of having the baby. Uh, or delays. Or maybe having them premature. Having some type of, it, it's just not an easy process all the time, okay? Or they could be, um, like if this is a, a male with displacement, the the person that they're having the baby from could be experiencing this, okay? So, and this person could have became like a parent early on to somebody that they didn't want to have a child with. They was just it was a fling. It was just passion. It was just fun. And um something serious comes out of the situation and now they're forced into this huge responsibility. So next time around they're not gonna be so easy and open and free. Now when we get to this person and their creativity and what they have to offer. These can be some of the most creative people that there is. However, they they don't they feel like they don't have the luxury sometimes. Well, I have a child, a family to take care of now, and or a high child support bill, however you want to put it. And I, I like I have to go work. I have to be serious. I, there's no room for this other stuff unless they have a way to creatively structure their creativity. Then you know, that's what they look for. It's not serious to them. It's not solid enough. So I think that this is what the goal is for people with displacement. Don't deny your creativity. Okay. Don't be afraid to show others that side of you because it's definitely there. <laughs> Just find ways to structure and plan your creativity. You know, What's the solid base? What is the foundation of what your creativity looks like and what you have to bring to the table? Plan around that. And like, you can be one of those people to, that takes your creativity long term. Look at Walt Disney, you know, something like that. If you allow yourself to build, build, build and take steps to moving towards little fearful choices that you have to make. And another thing. With this person, they have a hard time accepting the spotlight. They can either have a hard time accepting the spotlight or want the spotlight so bad. Attention to be on them so bad. And it doesn't. And because of that, they can just back away into the background and decide, you know what? I'm not going to try this anymore. It's not for me. It's not meant for me or whatever. But re in reality, you have to work past your insecurities. Just because someone denies what you have an offer or what you show up like the first three times, what does that tell you? It doesn't tell you to give up. It tells you to go after the fourth time, the fifth time, the sixth time. Okay? So you really have to keep reinventing yourself, I feel like. As you work through challenges. And to be honest with you. Like I said the limitations are only in your mind. Because it could be this aspect to this placement. To where the thing that you, you're you limited. The, where you're blocked at. Is because of the direction and the approach you're trying to take to get there. 
if you're only going to do something because you want a certain amount of attention behind what you're doing and you don't get it, what does that tell you? That you're not in it for the right reason or you're not, you're not even giving yourself a chance to have something be successful or watch something grow. That means that you have to take a whole nother approach and the approach may be going to go sit down somewhere and work behind the scenes. Okay. Eventually the attention spotlight is going to be shined upon you. Okay. So it's important to still have your will to follow your heart. Yeah. This, this person could be, uh, adverse to following their heart and they can overthink something that could be so serious like in a relationship this could really kill relationships because you can you can feel like you've been set free from interacting with certain people but then deny it because of that feeling okay so you got to be open to following your heart you have to be open to working behind the scenes, maybe. You have to understand that, you know, a lesson is a lesson. And just because you have one lesson or a few bad experiences in, in a certain area, it doesn't mean that that's what's going to be your life. That's what's going to always happen to you forever. Okay, because Saturn is there to challenge you. It challenges us. So you enter your artwork in a, in a competition and they tell you you don't win or the person is judging telling you tells you it looks like crap. That doesn't mean to go throw your whole art career away. And then like the people that you're looking toward looking up to at times where you feel like they're so accomplished, they get all the attention. You never know what their background struggle is. You don't know what their background struggle is. Or their background story is. And they may just be getting attention for the moment. Like when you finally get notice uh, for what you do. Or when you get noticed for what you do. It's going to be long term. Okay. This is what we're. This is this is the, the antics that goes along with life. And looking at the chart. And how our energies is playing out. Okay. So this has been Saturn in the fifth house. Um. But yeah, there's definitely themes around children as well. You could be very stern with your child or you could have been harshly disciplined or sternly disciplined when you were a child. Okay. I wanted to add that. So, you know, and working through that now and seeing that you don't have, you can break that. This is, Saturn in the fifth house is also about breaking the generational um, aspects from and attachments from when you were a child. So sometimes just let loose and just go run amok and play and have fun with your children without having to overly judge or limit them. Okay. And I think that some of you guys, that's what you strive to do though. Because it's in it's naturally within you to say, you know what, I don't want to be like that or this way with my children, like how I had my past. Okay, so this has been Saturn in the fifth house. I'm Butterfly to Light. Like, share, and subscribe. I will return.